Miguel. About Fox. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, maybe you and I could go on a little trip after you tell Fox the news that you want to be with me from now on. Sort of like a pre-marriage honeymoon. I mean, Mama would love to have Maria to herself almost as much as I would love to have you to myself. All day, all night, just you and me with no interruptions. How does that sound? Miguel, the thing is... <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready for bed. Could you go wait for me? I'll be right there. Okay. No, Miguel, I can't be with you. I made a deal with Julian, and you can never know. Darling, I can't wait. Come to bed. Yeah, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Look, wait. Miguel, we're all real glad and happy that you got out of prison, right? But it's late now. My wife and I need some alone time together. Got it? So good night. I guess we'll see you in the morning. Okay, wait, wait. Listen. There's something, Kane, I need to tell you. And you need to hear it now. But what is it, Miguel? Because I'd really like to get to bed. If you want me to have Miguel set free, I want you to stay married and faithful to my son, specifically. Never see Miguel again. Listen, Fox, you know this isn't going to be easy for either one of us. But there's something you need to know. Okay, something both of us need to tell you. Well, I'm sure it can wait until the morning. No, he's right. What Miguel is, is trying to say is, from both of us, thank you. Thank you to you and your father. You know, I have to understand, it's very hard for Miguel to say thank you to the cranes. Well, I don't know why. Oh, I do. Maybe because it was well, because... Well, if it weren't for you and, and your father, he would still be in prison. Mm. Fox put me in prison, Kay. Yeah, but he made a mistake. I did. And, um... Miguel, there's no really easy way to express this in words, but, um... I'm sorry. But I really did think that it was you driving the car that ran me down. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> well, hell... <laughs> It was your car. Who knew that your double was going to steal it and run me over with it? Yeah, well, luckily, Julian found Spike and made him testify to Judge Riley and said that you weren't driving, so now you're free, and that's all that matters. Uh, no. Maria has her father back, and that's all that's important. You don't mean that? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Maria's well-being is all I care about, so... So, um... Why don't we just forget this whole thing, huh? I and mean, I'm just happy that this nightmare's over for all of us. Okay. Good night, Miguel. Well, why don't we go to bed, darling? Of course. Good night, Miguel. What the hell is going on? Leave me alone. Okay, listen, I don't understand what is going on. Okay, why did you leave with Fox? Why, why didn't you help me tell him about us? Please, Miguel, I'm, I'm getting ready for bed. I, I know you are, with Fox, Kay. Yes, my husband. Listen, you know what, you know what? I don't understand what is going on here, Kay, because not a second ago, we were tucking Maria into bed, talking about how we were gonna spend the rest of our lives together. I need to go. N no, no, you don't need to go. You need to explain yourself, Kay, because I'm free now. I'm free. We can finally be together like we wanted. Okay, answer me. We go get some rest. I have to go. Okay. My ass is over. But I have to go on. Oh, God. Did I do the right thing?
shouldn't be in here. You need to leave. What's happening? I need to know. Don't you think you owe me that? Please, Miguel, this isn't the time. Not the time? You know, we've been trying to tell Fox about us for weeks, Kay. God, my hair's wet. Fox hates that. <sighs> what just happened? We were just tucking our daughter into bed, and you were telling me how you wanted to spend the rest of your life with me. Nothing's changed, right? Fox will hear you. Well, let him hear me, Kay, because I love you. Look, Fox is waiting for me, okay? Listen to me, you can't turn your life around on a dime like that, Kay. One second you're telling me how much you love me and how much you want to be with me, and the next you're crawling into bed with Fox? What is going on here? I need to know. Please tell me what's going on. Talk to me, Kay. You're trying to avoid me, and I don't get it. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, you don't believe that any more than I do, okay? Why the sudden 180? I don't understand you. I mean, is this the way you really treat the man you love? Miguel, this may not be easy for you to accept, but I'm staying with Fox. What? No. No, you don't mean that, Kay. Yes, I do. I love Fox. I always have. Not the way you love me. Look, I can't leave him, Miguel, okay? He's my husband, and he's dying. Listen, we've already discussed this, okay? You can't keep lying to him. It's not fair to him. What about our love, our plans? It's so far. I'm staying with Fox. This isn't right, okay? You're holding out on me. Why don't you tell me what's really happening? Look, I told you, it's over. I'm staying with my husband, and you need to move on with your life. You're breaking my heart, okay? You'll get over it. No, I won't. And if it's really over for us, I'd rather spend the rest of my life behind bars. I'd rather live locked up than to live without you and Maria. And you can still see Maria. <laughs> you know what, I'm... I'm gonna respect your wishes. Because I have no choice. I will never understand them. Good night.